I'm going to show you real quickly how to repair a long gash the easiest way. Uh, ideally, besides having your patch and go, I can just put a patch and go strip and that's great. In the field, it's nicer if you can back it with a little bit of tape to the inside and again, preferably the Tyvek tape. And what you want to do is cut yourself a piece that is a little bit shorter than your hole. So I have a piece that's a little shorter, no, okay. a little bit shorter than this tear. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to slide the Tyvek tape under and press the one side down. Then you lift your other side and take your time to get this exact. It makes your repair nicer and it makes it more airtight. Once that's down, then you have a really nice flat surface to be able to put your patch and go on. You're going to wipe down the area with alcohol. Always make sure you do that whether you're using... Now at this point if you didn't have patch and go, you could take a big fat bead of aqua seal and put it over and that's why particularly if you if you put some Tyvek tape underneath you could you could put aqua seal over that, let it sit all night, and that would be repaired. You could put two layers of Tyvek tape over it. Um, ideally, if you have a patch and go piece, and I have a strip right here, I can get it going. I'm going to put my whole patch and go strip right down. And with patch and go, it's real important that Usually what comes with the kit is one of these little scrapers. Anything will work. Um, what you're doing, you are scraping the air bubbles out, but what you're really doing is there is an adhesive that is in the patch and go, and it's the scraping that activates the adhesive. If you don't scrape it down well, you're not going to activate the adhesive, and then the strip doesn't work. But once this is well rubbed in, That's it. You can blow your boat up and you're done. Um, that become, This becomes a permanent patch. Um, don't play with the edges. This glue will sit here and cure for 24 hours. You can use the boat. That's not a problem. But just don't, don't play with the edges. That, that becomes your permanent repair. Now, uh, on floors, people ask me about gouges and floor, every, floors. Every once in a while, especially after you've been using the boat for a few years, you can get some deep gouges, and I'm going to try to gouge a couple things in here. Okay, play like we've got a nice sharp block. What you want to do with these is ideally Aqua Seal, and if you don't have Aqua Seal Seam Grip, that's also made by made by Matt. Um, both of them, they work really well. You do not need to put a patch patch over this. You're going to wipe wipe that area down with, aqua, um, with the alcohol pad, let it dry, then you're going to put a really thin bit of aqua seal in, and you're going to you don't you don't want this stuff to end up being a blob. You're just trying to fill in your scrapes. So take something credit card end, all those nice little credit cards we get in the mail, you can they're great to use for this. Just fill that in. This what I'm using, this is a Caddis, a different brand. It does not work as well for whatever it's worth. The stuff's too thin. But um, just keep working it in. All I needed to do was just fill in that spot. You're not trying to build a ridge. Once that dries, it's completely taken care of and it's it's repaired. Don't end up with a big blob of aqua seal on the outside. You don't need it. Just just keep it flat, keep it thin. You can completely rebuild the floor this way. If you end up with big piles of scratches over time, you, you can you can do this technique to this entire area and you've got a new floor.